Hello, children. I welcome to you all to the session. I am Fredemma, English CRT Forma Miller. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy along with your family. I hope you are all have completed your first and second unit successfully in the previous class sessions. In this session, I am going to take third unit. Please to listen carefully. First, let's talk about the basic overview of third unit. Third unit divided into three readings. A reading is the journey. B reading is once upon a time. C reading is what is my name. Here, the main theme, third unit main theme is human relations. I will show some pictures. In the picture, the old people are very happy. Next, grandparents with grandchildren. A father playing with his children in joyful mood. In the last, the are very happy mood. Okay, these are related to human relations. So our main theme is human relations. In page number 80 at this textbook, look at the picture and read the following excerpt from diary of a 72-year-old man. You observe carefully a picture. Below the picture, some lines are there. I read it, you listen. As I sit here alone and waiting, I gaze at people passing me by. I try to smile and reach out to them, but no one notices, no one waits. They look to me like I am nothing. Are they afraid to be seen by saying hi to an old man like me? Okay. Below the lines, there are three questions. What is the expert about? How do people respond to the old man's smile? How should old people treat it so that they do not feel neglected? These are questions for us. So, what is the first question? What the picture about or excerpt about? Are you ready to answer? Okay. In the picture, the old man is old man's inner feelings. He feels sorry for himself. It shows us the old man's pathetic condition. The old man feels that he is totally neglected. The second one, how do people respond to the old man's smile? Okay. When the old man smiles and reach out others, no one notices his smile and no one wants for him. Next, third question is very important for us. It is thought-provoking question. How should old people be treated so that they do not feel neglected? The old people should be treated equally. They should be respected by the family members. We should obey them and we should take their suggestions. In that way, we treat it like that. They never feel that they are alone and neglected. Okay, now, A, reading the journey. We started the lesson, we know about the author. Yashi Dhorji Tongi, born in May. 
1952 is a prominent name in Assami liter Assamese literature. Though he grew up in poverty, he studied well and entered Arunachal Pradesh civil service and was later elevated to the Indian administration service, I think IAS officer. He writes fiction, drama and essays in Assami and English. He has received a national recognition with his novel Mauna Aunt Mukhar Hridai which won the Sahitya Academy Award in 2005. Many of Thonzi's novels, including Sona, deal with the cultural life of the Monpa and the Sherpen tribes of Arunachal Pradesh. This is about author. Next, we enter the... This journey is an excellent piece done by Dhongji, but Dhongji writes it Assami language, but it is translated by in English by D.P. Nath. The author tells one main point to the readers. That point is the educated person's attitude towards their illiterate parents. Okay. Now, the lesson journey. After spending a leisurely Sunday at home, the very thought of returning to work on Monday is tiring. Lethargy creeps in if the holiday continues over an extended period. That is how I felt when I was preparing to return to my place of work after spending six months at home. The fact that I was to leave behind my newly wed wife and go to a far off place did not help either. Obviously, I did not want to go. Once I tell you the difficult word meaning in the first paragraph, leisurely relaxed, lethargy, inactive or dull or slow, creeps, develops very slowly, obviously, clearly or of course. Okay. You see in the first question in the textbook, are you agree the first statement of the first line? What's that? After spending a leisurely Sunday at home, the very thought of returning to work on Monday is tiring. Do you agree? Given in the first question of the textbook. Yes. Are you agree this? Yes, you agree. Why? You are spending Sunday very relaxed mood. Next Monday, we are very tiring to go to the school, workplace, or any job. Why? Because lethargy creeps in if the holiday continues over an extended period. So lethargy, laziness creeps in our body. So that way we want to extend it the holidays or any time. That is the same situation was related to the our author. So that's why he was also not ready to go to the workplace. Why? He was spending six months, he was spending six months at home. That's why he did not want to go to his workplace. Here, some special reason. Watch that he was newly married person. When he went to uh, go to his uh, workplace, he leave, left his um, wife also. That's why he did not want to go. Obviously, 
he did not want to go that place. First paragraph is uh, applicable for all, not only author, for all members. In this lesson, I refer to author. This lesson is narrative, narration. Okay. However, I finally decided to go. I did not have much to carry by way of luggage, just a trunk. Ours is a hilly terrain without any motorable roads, and there is no certainty that we ever going to have any roads. In any case, while coming home, we do not carry bedding. Besides, I had come home this time round for a special purpose, to get married. My parents had arranged my marriage according to the customs of our tribal society. Time flew and five months into my marriage, I realized it. Initially, I thought, I thought of extending my leave, even taking unpaid leave. But after some dilly-dallying, I finally decided against it because marriage had increased my responsibilities and I had got into debt. Okay, in the second paragraph, some difficult words meaning. Hilly terrain, a large extended area of land. Motorable that can be used by motor vehicles. Certainty, undoubted fact. Besides, in addition to daily daily, taking a long time to do something. That means delay. Here, our author is also making decision delay. Why? I finally decided. I finally means he decided to go, but after six months, he realized one thing. Watch that. When he was staying at home, unpaid leave. So that salary is not accounted in his account. That's why he thought when I am at house, the expenses are increased. His responsibilities are increased. I'm got into debt. So he decided finally not to stay at home to go to his work place okay next on my way home from bus stop my trunk had been carried by a porter so here author is gone is an government employee that's why he did not carry any luggage he had some servants the problem now was he couldn't find anyone who could help me carry the trunk to the bus stop. At another time of the year, we would have easily found someone to help me. But now, most of the villages were busy in the fields. Nobody had time to spare for me. In fact, carrying the trunk should not have been such a worry for me, except that my education had made me shun physical labor. After all, I was government officer, and the idea of people seeing me carry my own luggage was not at all amusing. Otherwise, for a young man like me, it should not have been an issue to carry a 20 kilo chest on my back. Okay, here author have some problem. What's the problem here to carry the trunk? He did not want to carry his trunk because 
he was an government officer every year the villages were help him but this year the season is going to the fields all the villages were going to the field work nobody had spent time for him in fact carrying the trunk should not have been such a worry for him why he was young person he have some stamina which the luggage we carry but his education made shun physical labor the government officer had an idea when i was carrying the luggage bag all are amusing amusing means causing laughter otherwise for a young man like him it should not have an issue he easily carrying his own luggage after all it is 20 kg chest on his back it's not a heavy luggage it is comfortable to carry him finally all these observe feelings are observed by his father father think that oh my son is feeling worry about carrying the luggage he did not want to carry his luggage okay he was facing some problem so he think like that and asked his son dear son don't worry i am here i want to carry your luggage so the statement finally my father came up with a solution what's the problem here carrying the luggage what's the solution his father carry his bag don't worry i myself will see you off at dirang so the place tawang they are dirang what is the dirang place here dirang is the where the author go to the work place the bus stop place it is dirang when his father asked uh, uh, asked his father he protested how could i allow my old father to carry my trunk what would people think what would they say but i failed to disuse him it was decided that father would carry the chest so protested means an action expressing objection to something here author objected no father i also carry my luggage don't take this but here some questions were framing in his mind how would people what would they say but i failed disaster him disaster to convince somebody not to do something he was failed father agree to carry his luggage a large crowd gathered at our place the day i was to leave already he was newly married person he wanted to go his work place all village were gathered at one place to say wish him luck it was time 10:20 when he left for dirong my father had already left as i had to do a bit of catching up i walked fast 3 kilometers down the road i caught up with my father father said you are late would you like to rest for some time 
So in this time, I walked very fast, nearly three kilometers down the road. He caught up his father. Just father asked, "You are late. Would you like to rest for some time?" Asked in uh, very sympathetic mood. Having walked fast, I was tired. Really, our author is also walked very fast. He become tired. Moreover, I had to cross two hills on the way up to the spot. Here, spot where father was waiting for him. That is the spot. I quickly sat down on a rock. My father laughed at my plight. Plight means different and sad situation. So the tiredness is when this condition saw his father and asked, "So this little distance has tired you? Rest for a while." But we have to be in time for the bus. Where did they go? They go to the Dirang. So we have some more time. Take rest and say father to his son. Father was quiet for some time. Quiet means calm. He. thoughtfully looked at me looked at the sun for a moment and then his eyes fell on the can of homemade wine that i was carrying wetting his lips with his tongue he said in a matter of fact manner i am thirsty so this condition is also faced in the summer season everybody Hey, everyone feels like that. In summer, very thirsty. We feel very thirsty. The hot, the sun is very hot. They walked a long distance. Both the author and his father tired, feel very tired. That's why father wetting his lips. So this this indicates the thirsty. condition all these observed by the author immediately author gave his father the can of wine father poured himself a mug and handed me the can here me refer to author poured so it is uh, one i gave him the can of wine he poured himself a mug and handed me the can he drank all of it at one go when we feel very thirsty we drank any liquid item at one attempt he then arranged the bell that was attached to the trunk carefully on his forehead so this was the picture my father carrying my luggage on his back and me following him with a tiny bag in my hand here author carrying very small bag but his father was carrying heavy luggage that is the picture here we are walking up a narrow hilly road we refer to father and son and neither of us uttered a word as if we were strangers who spoke different languages actually father and son are related in relationship is friendly manner 
in this lesson a father and son they speak one word without speaking any words they walk only in silent mode that is compared to different languages persons so one language person cannot speak to another language person why they can't understand their languages here father and author is also walking like that different language persons like strangers i did not know what was going on his mind author thinking that his father was thought about me what he was thinking from time to time he crossed my mind that it was improper for me to let father carry the luggage from time to time means always he had one question what's that it's not good to carry the leg uh, to give my bag my luggage to my father it's improper for me he think like that but he did not take his luggage from his father only thinking like that i wanted to tell him that i would like to carry the trunk myself but my guilt and shame did not allow me to do so so what is uh, to do so here he did not want to carry his luggage what is the barriers here guilt and shame these are the barriers he did not uh, carry his luggage the self consciousness had probably to do with my education the white collar job that i had are quite simply my pride somehow i had feeling that if i carried the luggage my father and my people in fact the whole world would laugh at me and i would be be little here the author think that he when he carry his luggage his father people and the other persons would look at me and laugh at me he think like that he would be be little be little means made seem unimportant he never think an unimportant person he would always be important person he think like that father had provided for my education and i had been able to realize his dreams my parents were truly proud of me so this two lines is commonly think all parents so our children got high get to go to the high position here already our author is in poverty condition his father provided his education provide means arranged all things arranged to his son he also realized his dreams what's that he go to the high position already he was an government employee he, my parents were truly proud of me yes he was a government employee that's why his parents feel proud of him it was through me that they had earned a greater degree of admiration and respect from the villagers what is the degree of our admiration here so author got gone got a job that's why his parents were admired and respect from the villagers my father would not like to see me carrying a trunk on my back and would be very hurt 
if I did so. Author think like that. When I carry the luggage and my bag, my father did not like that. In case I carry the luggage, my father would hurt. I concluded that it would be better to let him carry it. Here, carry it, it means 20 kilo chest. Father used to carrying luggage anyway. He was stronger and more skilled than me in this matter. What is in this matter? In this matter means to carry the luggage. Carrying luggage is the here our author tells us his physical appearance. Father was more strong and skilled person. So he carried the luggage. I had never got used to physical labor. Physical labor means working hard. He got used to physical labor, never got. So he did not do any hard work in his childhood. Why? He stayed in hostels right from his childhood. So in spite of my youth and strength, I was physically useless. I continued walking silently with father. All these questions, these matter was running in his mind. So that's why he walking silently with the father. We rested at two places on the way and had our and had our tiffin, but we hardly talked. So they uh, stopped in two places, but ne they never talked to each other. Finally, we reach Dirang. What is Dirang? The bus stop place they reached. The bus from Tawang had not yet reached Dirang, and so we had some time in hand. We entered a tea shop and sat facing each other. Father appeared tired. So when they entered in tea shop, they are sitting opposite manner. In this time, author observed his father. He was so tired. I felt sorry for him, but couldn't bring myself to say anything. Only thinking that my father was very tired, but he couldn't say anything. I asked the waiter to get us two cups of tea. Just as I was going to take my first sip, I heard father's voice. Do you have a pair of old shoes? When the uh, waiter bring cups of tea and gave the author and his father. He take one sip. Suddenly he heard one voice that is, do you have a pair of old shoes? Yes. Then immediately author asked his father why. The road is uneven and full of pebbles, it hurts while walking. This is the response of his father. His father. I looked at father's bare feet, never having worn shoes. His feet had developed cracks and somehow resembled those of an elephant. After some time, he looked at father's bare feet. Bare feet means uncovered, like bare hands, bare head. 
here bare feet the barber didn't wear any shoes his feet developed cracks father's feet there so many cracks on his leg under it resembled those of an elephant resemble means had a similar to i noticed this for the first time so in the so many days he did not notice observe his father feet this is the first time to observe his feet i hadn't noticed that the road was uneven i didn't have to since i was very a pair of hunting boots so the road was uncomfortable not good there are so many pebbles he not observed why he was wearing hunting boots his father asked him he wanted a pair of old shoes that's why author checked his wallet and so still he still had around 40 rupees with him he think like that a pair of canvas shoes would cost around 12 rupees and the remaining amount would be enough for me to get to bamidala so he was checking his wallet wallet means purse in the wallet there are only 40 rupees his father wanted shoes that's why author buy a new pair to for his father nearly it cost 12 rupees remaining money enough to him to go to bamila bamidala my father protested give me an old pair here already we know that protest means object don't buy new one dear son you give me your old shoes you don't have to spend money on new shoes i couldn't convince him to buy a new pair reluctantly i gave him the hunting boots so reluctantly means unwilling unwillingly he reluctantly gave his hunting boots to his father author was wearing the leather shoes uh, from the trunk and noticed his father's face lighting up with contentment his father taking not a new shoes only old shoes father's face lighting up with contentment contentment means satisfaction suddenly he looked at me and said take care right to us so in the hilly narrow road they walk nearly 5 or 6 kilometers they ought to speak single word but here the author's father speak two words that take care right to us father wanted to say something but the bus started moving i saw my father gradually receding into the distance i saw that the road we had come by look like a giant motionless road father would use the same road to go back home simultaneously our journeys started in two opposite directions with me seated in the luxurious seat of a bus and father walking back with weary legs on the pebble strewn road here received move back 
gained a great size, luxurious, extremely comfortable, very, very tired, pebble-stuned road, the road over which the pebbles are scattered. Here, the author going to his working place, the bus was moving for the receding. Receding means go move back. Slowly his father receding. He saw that when they are coming to Thawang to Diram, the road is look like motionless rope, like a giant. Father would use the same road, same, so same here, the pebble stone road, uneven road, that is the same. Simultaneously, here, father's journey and the author's journey in opposite directions. Opposite directions means author's uh, life is luxurious life and father's life is difficult life. Author was a government officer living in town. His father was an illiterate person living at village. This is opposite direction. Okay. I will give some assignment for you. First question, why did the author get into debt? Think of some possible reasons. Why, second one, why was the author reluctant to carry his luggage? What would you do if you were in author's place? I repeat once again, why did the author get into debt? Think of some possible reasons. Why was the author reluctant to carry his own luggage? What would you do if you were in the author's place? If you have any doubt, ask your teacher. Thank you.